have you ever experienced you entered the date value something like this but the output which you got is missing or the output which you got is some number while you wanted the output to be something like this this is what we're going to dis discuss in this video so welcome to the channel and to understand the concepts very clearly please watch the video till the end once you are done with watching the video do not forget to like comment subscribe and hit the bell icon so it's the second part in the series of date or date functions in which we're going to discuss about in formats and formats let's look at the definition first in formats its definition says it's a specification for sas to how to read the data meaning using the in formats you tell sas how to you use the how to read the provided input and using format you tell sas how to show the input data whatever sas has read i mean you tell sas dear sas whatever you have read now you show that in this way as i'm saying all right so it's kind of instruction to sas let's go to the sas session and try an example create a sample data set which is test create a variable named date and then put the cards statement and enter a date value which is first jan 1961 sorry and then just run this so okay to make it display better i'm just going to put proc print data test then run and display it so here you can see it's missing value okay now let's understand why is this happening okay so here is the raw data which you entered now when you are entering this data let's observe this a little these are four digits these are also digits these are also digits but how about this these are special characters all right so when you are providing a combination of special characters and numbers sas gets confused how to read this what is this input data you are telling sas to read and that is why sas gives you the output as missing sas said dear sir i cannot read the input data which you provided so here is the output which is missing all right so how you can fix that to fix that you will be using in formats let's look at that so you provide you tell sas dear sas use this in format use this method in format could be a method for sas to read the data you tell sas sas and try to understand the first two digits are date value then it's a oblique then second two digits are month and then again a special character which is oblique and this is the year value so if you see these two dates are here these two months are here and this four year digit value though here you see only two y but when you are providing 10 that's the count of all this total 4 2 2 it becomes 8 and these two special characters in total it becomes 10 so this is how you are telling sas to read this in input in this way now sas will read that and display the output something like this now again this is a second problem how to fix that why is it showing 366 before we go into that first let's go to the sas session and try this thing all right so here we are back to the sas session and put that dd mm yy 10 dot let's run this and here you see it's 366 let's understand this so why is it 366 let's understand sas has a counter date i'm not sure there are many stories be behind this which you can google and understand that counter date is 1st of jan 1960 so from this date sas takes the count of number of days so whatever date you provide if you provide any date after this day 
if for example if you are telling 2nd jan here if you are providing 2nd jan 1961 so instead of 366 you will get 2 no you will get 1 i am sorry you will get 1 okay similarly as you keep on increasing you will get a positive value if you have, if you put this date you will get zero if you put any date after this you will get some positive numbers if you get any if you put any date before this date then you will get some negative integer all right so this is how sas works and this is how sas display and takes the date value all right so whenever you are pro inputting any date just put the in format and then sas will read that and display that in the form of numbers which will be counted from this counter or from this cut off date okay now what is the solution because this was not the purpose if you display the date something like this nobody will be able to understand what does this mean okay because in normal case any human will understand this date value okay they will understand just this value so to do so you just need to supply a format so because you want to show the date in this format so again the same the same method which you use for in format the same thing you can use for format and after that you will get the output something like this which is same as you as your input all right let's go and try this put format date and i'm just going to copy this to make it faster and run this now you see the problem is fixed now there is one more thing it's not always necessary that format and in format both should be same that's not necessary in format is important that it should be same as the input data it should be same this is important but this is not important all right so for that if i mean this will depend how you want to show the data okay so if you want to show it in different format for example in date nine format you can specify that i can just run this now you would have that value in date format so for this we will be providing you a list of date formats in formats in the description section section there will be a link you can refer that link and download the list and you can keep that for reference whenever you are using the date values that will help you you can use that as reference okay thank you very much for watching the video wish you very good